Uh, so I graduated in 2009 with a degree in politics and international relations. I went to work for one of the world's biggest PR companies. Uh, thoroughly enjoyed my time, but realised that that wasn't what I wanted to do at this point in my life. So ended up kind of starting businesses. Do you know what I mean? So we started our first one. Uh, yeah. Also, we're still there. Yeah. Went okay, and then we've kind of evolved. And over the last kind of year, we've gone from different ideas. And then about a year ago, we came across the, the concept of Malzi, and we spent the last year to helping that. Did you expect it to be? Where <laughs> where we, where we, oh, I hoped it would be where it is. Uh, we started with absolutely nothing. You know, since then we've raised nearly two hundred thousand pounds. We've grown to a team of seven people. We just launched our app at London Fashion Week. You know, we've got seven thousand users, and people are really excited about the product that we've created. We've got two hundred different stores signed up to allow us to sell our items fully. So yeah, it's grown dramatically, but it's been fantastic fun. You know, I'm always one of the people who would always love to be slightly further in our journey, but in reality, we've done a huge amount in a really short space of time, and that's a credit to everyone that, that works with us and everyone that works here as well. So. Yeah, we've always thought we'd get in, but it's always a struggle to get to that next stage. It's always a fight to get to that next stage. We've got huge plans for the next kind of two years, uh, and we're just having to make sure that we execute every single day to allow us to, to get to the next stage. <laughs> oh, it's the most important thing you can have. Do you know what I mean? Like, I think if you, anyone tries to do something really, really interesting, really kind of game changing by themselves, you're always going to struggle slightly. Uh, I think the biggest thing in anything you do is, is find great people and make sure those great people are, are close to you. Do you know what I mean? And that you are all going in the same direction. Uh, because without a team, then you really have nothing. Because you can't, you can't do everything yourself. So you need to kind of find that balance and find like people and find strong people who are willing to kind of lead themselves at the same time and have strong opinions and come up with great ideas. And, you know, I think that's the thing that we've achieved the most in the last six months is actually getting those people and making those people part of what we do. It's a nervous thing anymore to us. We kind of feel like we're on a par with a lot of people, and we're like we quite. We, I used to have a big chip on my shoulder of being young and like doing this sort of stuff, and like everyone's older than me, and you, you're fundraising and you're fundraising from guys, and you're like the same age as their kids and stuff. But in reality, like great ideas shine through, great progress shines through, and people will take you seriously as long as you take yourself seriously. I think that's a really important part of it. You know, and, you know we have an awful lot of fun with what we do. And it works. fun and embrace those bits. And that works really well in our industry. You know, like I'm not ever going to say that I'm not nervous on most occasions. You know, we speak to huge numbers of people who stand on stages and do presentations. But you know what? We still have fun every single day because I think that's really important. I think if you show that you're having fun, and you're passionate about your subject matter, you can make up for any, a lot of shortcomings because people people can really buy into that, and people can people want to be part of that at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. Just go get a job. No, it's much easier. Yeah. It's much more relaxing. You pay more money. No, don't at all. Don't let anyone tell you you can't do something. I think that's one of our, our greatest weaknesses is that we are quite kind of negative and you can kind of like, like, like negativity. One of my investors says says a great thing. Uh, to one day you say said that basically you'll find you'll meet a lot more people that tell you you can't do something than you will meet people who say tell you that you can do something. It's about blocking out some of the can'ts and listening to some of the can'ts. And I think that's really, really important is, is, is don't let yourself get bogged down in negativity and don't let yourself get bogged down in the kind of the day to day, day grind and, and just remember what your vision is. And so remember what you set out to create at every stage. And find people that you can either be part of your journey, doing them that can be part of your business, or other people who have that same vision. So other people who need to create something in the same stage as you. Like we, we really benefit from the fact that we have to share up our space so that we can have other people like that in it who can actually all bounce off each other, we can all spend time together and when times are really tough, you know, you can you can go with some men together and put together advice and let them G you off a little bit sometimes.